What's going on, socialites? Welcome back to another Global Pokemon Society Draft League battle. It's week six, and we got the Denver Ninetales taking on the Mighty Psyducks. Both of these teams currently two and three, back up against the wall. Four and four. I don't even know if that's going to be comfortable now to get into the playoffs. Previous years, it's usually been pretty good, but... Those teams that are undefeated keep winning, so you know that those three are going to be in. You got some teams separating at 3-2, and 4-2. and two. So you, you probably want to get to five wins to, to really gar guarantee it this year. There's so many teams around that 3-2, and 2-3 two, two and three mark right now. So let's take a look at the teams here. Denver's bringing Calyrex Ice Rider, Pelipper, Clefable, Mianxiao, Rotom Mo, and Kingdra. And Ali and the Mighty Psyducks are counting with Lugia, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Salamence, Umbreon, Inteleon, and Jinx. Denver coming off a loss to the Boston Braviaries in Week 5. And the Psyducks coming off a win against the Charm City Charizards. So we'll have to see what happens here. Ali leading off with Salamence. Pretty aggressive lead here. He doesn't really have anything that can set up hazards. And I think that Calyrex really likes seeing the Salamence here. But that Intimidate does definitely affect Calyrex. Now does Salamence have the U-turn? Or maybe even a Fire Blast? Heck, I would just drop a Draco on this man. Be like, what you got, boy? Yeah, you might die to a Glacial Lance, but... Oh, he switches out, so no U-turn from the looks of it. Umbreon comes out. Calyrex goes for the Trick Room now. Again, he is at minus one attack, so Umbreon is a very bulky boy. I think Umbreon is going to be doing just fine here. Katie and the Denver Ninetales decide what they want to do. They do go with the Glacial Lance. Calyrex gets the Glacial Lance off first, thanks to that Trick Room. Let's see, maybe like, what do you think, 25%? Oh, wow, almost does about half, but the Foul Play comes out. Some nice damage onto Calyrex, and with the Leftovers... So Calyrex has to decide. He might be able to take down Umbreon here, but at what cost? He'll be like at like three health. <laughs> Assuming that was not just a low roll, he could that could be a low roll from the foul play. Calyrex switches out here. Clefable comes out. Been a pretty solid pickup, providing a defensive pivot for Denver this season. Yeah, and shrugs off that foul play. Going to be able to heal back up almost to full. Umbreon also gets a little bit of leftovers recovery. The Psyducks do have several Pokemon weak to Fairy. Umbreon, of course, and then we also see Urshifu and Salamence. Lugia enters the fray. The X-Tier. Legendary Guardian of the Ocean. Shrugs off that Moonblast. Thanks to its Marvel Scale ability. Playable now, looking to get the rocks up. Let's see what Lugia wants to do here. Has several strong options. Goes for Earth Power. Was he expecting a switch? Not sure.
Fable goes for a wish here. The Trick Room is over. An Arrow Blast. Ooh, almost takes out Fable with that critical hit. Fable gets the wish off. Could have been trying to pass that wish onto Calyrex here. Expecting if Lugia was going to keep trying with those Earth Powers. But now Lugia looks like he wants to be going for the Arrow Blast, which definitely a better move. The Fable might protect here. Yep, that looks like what she's going to be doing. Heal back up with that wish. Keep the Fable in this game. Fable doing like a little dance there. Fable's gonna switch out into Pelipper here. Lugia could be going for another Aero Blast, which will do a lot of damage to Pelipper. This has been one of the flaws with Pelipper in Denver's games is just ends up dying a lot. Kingdra comes out here. Lugia switches out, so keeping that around for later. Oh, into Salamence, though. Salamence isn't going to enjoy this Ice Beam one bit. Oof. Denver got a nice break there with the Psyduck just gifting her Salamence. Now we see Jinx enter the fray. Jinx could have the freeze dry here. Freeze dry pretty decent against a lot of what Denver has on their team. Uh, they didn't bring Gastrodon this week, but Gastrodon, Kingdra, Pelipper, Rotom. Ooh, Drinks reveals the dry skin. Very nice. And goes for the lovely kiss here. Putting Kingdra to sleep. Now, we do have a sleep clause in our league, so as long as one of your opponent's Pokemon is asleep, you cannot actively put another one to sleep. So, Kingdra switches out back into Clefable, which will make it so that Jinx can't be going for those lovely kisses. Focus Blast connects, but doesn't do too much against Clefable. Fable looking to get another wish up here. Definitely trying to get Calyrex back into this game relatively healthy. And against Jinx, with your Kingdra already asleep in the back, this is a perfect opportunity to get Calyrex in. So if the wish can go off here, Jinx goes with the Ice Beam. So Ice Beam, Focus Blast, Lovely Kiss. We can assume a Psychic Attack, maybe Psy Shock. So maybe there is no Freeze Dry. Fable gets the wish off, and this is where Calyrex is going to come in. Q 
Jinx with another ice beam. And there's the wish, bringing Calyrex back up to almost full health. Jinx is switching out here, going into Inteleon. Trick Room does come up. High horsepower, connects onto Inteleon. Inteleon's able to survive. Gets off a Dark Pulse. Could this be Choice Specs? Don't think so with that roll, although maybe. Calyrex is pretty bulky, despite all of its weaknesses. Another high horsepower comes out, and that is enough to take down Inteleon. The Chilling Nay will boost Calyrex's attack. That's what makes Trick Room Calyrex so scary once it gets rolling. And no Salamence to cast the Intimidates onto Calyrex. Umbreon comes out here, takes some rocks damage. Now down to about half health. And I think based on the previous roll, we're going to see this Glacial Lance pick up another KO for Calyrex. Yes, Calyrex takes down Umbreon, and this is where the snowballing really gets going. Calyrex still has a couple turns left of this Trick Room. Urshifu comes out here. Just another... Pokemon to go down to Calyrex as the Zen Headbutt connects. Calyrex now picking up three quick KOs. The Trick Room does end. Now Jinx comes out. Perhaps Jinx can pick up the KO here. Oh my goodness! Calyrex survives the Focus Blast at a literal 1 HP and picks up the KO, returning with the high horsepower. Wow, Calyrex, after picking up five KOs a couple weeks ago against the LA Kinglers, picking up four KOs so far. Against the mighty Psyducks, Oogie here takes some rocks damage. Lugia does go for the Aeroblast, and that will finally end Calyrex's reign of terror. Now, Lugia is still pretty scary against a lot of these teams. Rotom looks like the best option. Lugia can be rather bulky, however. Looks like Katie's really trying to decide where she wants to go with this next turn. We do.
Yushi Mien Shao come out. Gonna get off some of that free damage with the fake out. Does quite a bit actually, bringing Lugia down to just about half health. And now clicking the Stone Edge. Will the Stone Edge connect here? Mien Shao. Yes, it's enough to take down Lugia. And with that, the Denver Ninetales move up to 3-3 three and three with 4 Pokemon remaining. Calyrex once again getting the Trick Room up. Waiting for that opportune moment. And is able to sweep through the Psyduck's team. Congrats to Katie in Denver. And Ali and the My Psyducks. You still got a chance. A couple more games. Do what you gotta do. Win those games and make it to the playoffs. As always, thank you all for watching, and stay classy, society.